Geffen, for those with higher standards. I hope you're enjoying your Pesach. It's interesting that we call it Pesach. But if you look in the Torah, you will not find one time that the Yontif is called Chag HaPesach. No, it is called Chag HaMatzos. And the question is why? If the Torah calls it Chag HaMatzos, why do we call it Pesach? And if we call it Pesach, why does the Torah call it Chag HaMatzos? And the answer is, says Reb Levi Yitzchak of Barditchev, that this difference of names between the way we call it and the way the Torah calls it is indicative of the relationship that we have with Hashem. The love affair, if you will, the admiration that we have for each other. The Torah calls it Chag Hamatzos. Why? Because that's what we did for Hashem. Without any preparation, we just took some unleavened bread, we put it on our shoulders, and we left with full faith in Him to take us wherever He wanted. And therefore, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the Torah, in His admiration for us, calls it the Yontif of Chag Hamatzos. But we call it Pesach. Why? Because Pesach is Asher Posach al Bate B'nai Yisrael because Hashem passed over our houses. This is what Hashem did for us. And therefore, in our admiration to extol the virtues of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, we call it the Yontif of Pesach. And this is also true when it comes to the seventh day of Yontif, when we commemorate Kriyas Yamsuf. We call it Kriyas Yamsuf. The Torah, refers to it as Vehayom Bakata Lifneim, and the sea split before them. The Torah never calls it Kriyas Yamsuf, and we do. And the Sochachavar says, again, a similar idea. We call it Kriyas Yamsuf because there's two ways you can split something. You can split it from within, or you can split it from the outside. Nachshin ben Aminadov jumped into the sea, and the sea split from within, if you will. Vahayom bakata lifneim. Hashem, in praising the actions of Nachshin ben Aminadov and the Jewish people, he was so proud of us that we jumped into the sea and caused the sea to split. So he says, Vahayom bakata. But we call it Kriyas Yamsuf because we refer to it as the great Svarim say, in Isarusa de la Ela, an awakening from above, HaKadosh Baruch Hu Kaviyochul, split the sea. We are praising Him. He's the one that did it for us. You know, about 75 years ago, Rabbi Ephraim Oshri, in his Sefer Mimamakim, where he discusses the various Shilas, the questions that came his way during World War II, tells over the following question that was asked. A Yid, a broken Jew, came before Rebbe Ephraim Oshri, and he said, he mumbled, Rebbe, what do I do? And Rebbe Ephraim Oshri assumed that this Yid did not have matzah, so he wanted to know, how could he fulfill the mitzvah of matzah without matzah? But then the Yid looked up. He had a matzah. You know what he didn't have? He didn't have teeth. Because the Nazi guard, when he discovered that this Yid had a matzah, he knocked out his teeth. And so now he came before the Rav and he asked him, how can I fulfill the mitzvah with no teeth? That's the love that we've displayed, that we've shown to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And that is what the Yontif of Pesach is all about. It's the Yontif of Emuna, of faith, when we express our love and belief that HaKadosh Baruch Hu, just as He took us out of Mitzrayim, will one day very soon take us out of this Golos as well. Have a great Antif.